Hello guys, this is Hams. Welcome back to Katia Bify Training and uh, today is the second tutorial for Katia programming. So today I'm gonna show you how to create a macro to hide stuff. It's a very simple macro that can help you a lot when you have a product with a lot of stuff that that you need you don't need it. So but before that um, I'm gonna show you an important thing in Visual Basic you have this comma when you put a comma at the beginning of something it's going to make that line a comment so you can see how it changed from green from blue to green so everything you see in green is a comment comments are very important because on programming you're going to put at the top of your macro or your program for what version is working remember I'm working on Katiabify R20 and the name of the developer the day of creation and the copyright that you need ok uh, I'm gonna put it here in Visual Basic because on Visual Basic script you don't see the colors so mm, let's go to tools macros I just create the high stuff macro and the difference between Katia script and Visual Basic script uh, is that Katia script you can run it on if you're running Katia on Unix so it's preferred to use Katia script and Visual Basic script is used for Windows so that's the difference so um, I wanna click on edit this macro Remember all macros start with a soup cat main and end with the end soup. And we're going to create a variable called it product document one. The the word set is to say this variable is going to be equal to a Orukatia active document. So in this case is this document here. And we're going to create a variable called selection. And it's going to be to this variable product document one selection. That means everything is going to if you select something, the macro is going to use it to for your code. So but in this case, as you can see here, I have some commas here but you don't see the green stuff so this means everything is in common so it's, if I run this macro it's nothing is going to happen because everything is in common so. so to hide surface I have this surface here on this assemble so I'm gonna remove these comments here uh, got yet that status bar is this one here is you're going to if you want to put it when the macro is running it's going to say hiding surface you can put whatever you want and I'm gonna make a search with the selection one so you, you only need to put selection one search and it's going to look for everything that name is equal to surface and comma all it means it's going to look for in all the tree all the Katia tree tree and then when it's found it it's going to be selected and that selection is going in the visual properties it's going to be set show equal one it means it's going to be hidden and at the end I'm gonna put a Katia status bar equal to surface hidden so it's a very easy very easy macro I'm gonna put the the code on the description so you, you can copy and paste so I'm gonna run this macro and it's going to hide my surface I'm gonna click run the macro is running now it finished and now my surface is hiding so you can see it's very simple when you have a lot of surface that you don't need it in your product 
you just can run the macro and everything is going to be hidden instead of select each one and right click hide so if we go to the wind cover I have the surface here if I click it it appears again if I run the macro again it's going to be hidden again so it's very simple let's make another example let's go to edit and now I want to hide my notes so you can see it's the same status bar selection search but in this case I'm gonna look for everything that have the word notes and set the property set show to one that means it's high so I'm gonna save this and you can see I have one note here so let me run the macro and now my notes disappear so you can see it's very simple and I hope you understand this and I hope you use you use this macro on your work so thank you for watching and if you have any question please let me know and see you in the next video bye bye